Uh, just uh, going to briefly explain the, the environment. Um, so we, this is the higher store we have in the lab right now for, that, for this level. Uh, we have uh, uh, two uh, hybrid nodes and the other needs two uh, storage nodes. And we have uh, three NEC enterprise servers. One is uh, the latest one. I mean, the, this is the latest, uh, those two are latest uh, version. And this is the previous version. We call it like a CX and this uh, GX. And we install ES, uh, VMware uh, EXI. And we, ins we have uh, five VMs on this one, two VMs and four VMs. Actually, this guy has uh, two partitions. So each partition has uh, two VMs. Um, so those VMs are net backup media servers. And we needed those a number of uh, v uh, media servers to actually generate high performance using our OST technology. So I'm gonna I have to kick off the backup job right now because it takes time for net backup to actually start writing data. Because okay, like, well let me yeah. uh, switch back to the demo. Uh, so, oops. Uh, sure. Are you fully com compatible and supported on 7.6 of NetBackup? Yes, yes. The bigger issue is we have customers that are using some older versions that we still need to support as well. Okay, so as I explained, if you look at these, a uh, little bit small, but uh, there are four servers. Um, there are three, but uh, these two are two partitions I mentioned. Um, I'm just so Sanjay prepared a script. Uh, we can run the. We can actually initiate all the backup from the old net backup servers. This guy. Yes. So just this script initiates all the backups, right? Um. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Change the view. So this is just one of uh, NetBacker service. So the, just new job started, but uh, you know you're not seeing the, any uh, data writing yet. But uh, so we we need to wait for maybe five or seven minutes. But uh, while we're waiting, uh, let me explain the environment uh, more technology a little bit more. So we are showing the DDIP transfer and all the DDIP and we are now writing 100% duplicate data. So deduplication happens on the media server side. So we are not actually those server are not really sending data. But on your on the net backup console, you actually see the net backup try to write I mean the writing data looks like but I mean NetBacker actually writes the data, but DDoP happens on our uh, plugin, or is it plugin? The DDoP uh, pre-processing. Right. Pro I mean, as we said, it's a continuous operation right. all the way through, but a big, a big part of it gets deduped at that point. Right. So the network we have is only one gig pipes from the each server to each uh, uh, front end nodes, hybrid nodes. So, and this. NEC Enterprise server, actually the latest CX server has four CPU modules. And this one has eight CPU modules, but there are two partitions, so each partition has a, uh, four CPU modules. Uh, so there's also really, really high uh, spec servers. Um, so to max, however, to max out our hydro store for those configuration, we needed those three high performance servers. Uh, this is a slide uh, the Gideon already mentioned. Um, this is the one we are now showing here. So just let me skip a uh, little bit more about the details of DDoP transfer. So as I said, deduplication on media server side, uh, we can reduce the, the network bandwidth 
uh, from Media Cyber to Hyder Store. Um, we had a we released the Express IO and the deal transfer actually works on the top of Express IO and we achieved like a four to uh, six X faster than the just standard Express IO. Right now, part hybrid node HN, we can get twenty five to forty terabyte uh, per hour performance. Yeah, so again, just to clarify, twenty five terabytes an hour is when it's just the hybrid node without any additional storage nodes. If you have at least one other storage node, we can actually get it to the 40 terabytes an hour. Right. For that single hybrid node. So as I shown, we have two hybrid nodes. So we should be able to get uh, over 48, uh, I mean the 80 terabyte per hour. And on our GUI, we show the megabyte per second. So you will see uh, 22,000 megabyte per second uh, total. So this is a demo environment, uh, but we still have some more time. So maybe I will just show you the, the GUI uh, of Hydro Store. So this is a Hydro Store GUI. Uh, this is just a browser base, and this is the one we are using current using right now. Oh. oh, it's only 50 so. times better than the M series. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and the M series guy just came. <laughs> Charles, you came in right at the right time. <laughs> no, no, so I will say we actually uh, also revamped the GUI about uh, maybe two years ago. So we, we, we had an older style GUI and we actually revamped this on the, on the Hydra store. Hey, don't get me wrong, it's not great. It's just I know. 50 times. <laughs> <laughs> We're working on that. We're actually going to be in Japan in a couple of weeks. We'll talk some more about that as well. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a fast uh, screen uh, when you're logging. Uh, so you, now you can see two uh, hybrid nodes, two uh, storage nodes. Uh, in the back end, we have uh, two switches for redundancy. Um, so if you can start from the one uh, single node configuration, then the, you don't need a switch. Uh, for two nodes configuration, uh, we can have just a direct connection. Uh, three or more, the more than uh, like a bigger configuration, you, we, you need a switches for the back end. And this is a capacity screen. Um, let, let me mention one thing, one quick thing about the capacity screen. Can you or maybe just uh, go to yeah, just go to capacity is good. It's almost about to end, like in five. Okay. Okay. The capacity thing, it actually ends up looking like this if you have a single node or if you have a hundred nodes, you're still going to have the same management paradigm. So that simplifies things. You can see full accountability. In this case, I have four 48 terabyte uh, nodes. You can see the 192 terabytes full accountability of how that's distributed. And then you can see drill down, uh, which Nobu will show you, uh, across different nodes. And you can have the same type of management regardless of how big the system gets. OK. So oh, you, you're saying yeah, it's right? Has started writing OK. Maybe to... Right. OK, now you can see the performance here on the net backup screen. So net backup actually writing data, back, backing up data. Um, this is just a network monitoring tool. Um, any of, well, Elon maybe hard to see. Can you make that any bigger? These lines are external network ports, but you're not really seeing the data traffic into Hydro Store. This is one uh, hybrid, hybrid node one. This is hybrid node two. Um, each VM, each netback of server writing uh, 10 streams. And five streams go to hybrid, uh, hybrid node one. And the other five streams are going to uh, hybrid node two. Um, so 
Hi, but they, they are just exchange of metadata. Sorry. One thing it highlights is that, you know, if you have the, like, there is always a talk between inline dedupe and post process dedupe. So it kind of highlights that if you have the right implementation, you can actually inline dedupe pretty fast. Sanjay, did you grab a mic? There's one right the front there. I'll just repeat what I said. So this is a, a good case to highlight, you know, if uh, you have the right inline deduplication implementation, you can actually... Uh, process Sanjay, it hold this to your... Hold it closer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe next time. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what, uh, what I wanted to say. So now you see just a small data traffic, like, a, like a 200 kilobyte per sec. So that's it. Uh, just going back to net back up. Oops. Uh, all the jobs are done actually, unfortunately. But anyway. Now, is this actually set up as two different <laughs> two different disk pools or one single? One. Uh, right now, what's the configuration? So right now, uh, on uh, each of the stream is actually writing to an independent LSU, uh, which is kind of a, a file system for uh, OST. So it goes. Uh, so and how many disk pools did you make on that? Or maybe I well, can change. So with, with that, is it typically recommended to set up one for every single front end you're going to have? Uh, yeah, I mean, we can do that. And we, or, no, we already implemented uh, load balancing feature. So you can have only one single disk pool um, on the media server. Then, uh, but underneath, so you can have multiple LSUs or file systems. Yeah, we create speed. multiple LSUs per node, mm -hmm. and we have the distribution across them to actually spread the, da the data across. And the, the, the traffic will be, you know. But the pool balanced. itself is just a single pool. Okay, so, and each job, um, actually the data was led from the memory. So we have a memory file system uh, as a, our tool. So the, the net backup was actually reading the data from memory. So there's no bottleneck on the leading portion. So and each backup job has uh, 75 gig, and each media server has 10 streams. And we had uh, 11 VMs. So total like uh, five, I mean the uh, 8.25 uh, terabyte data. And that job has already been done. Uh, let me just uh, refresh. What version of NetBackup is in your lab for testing? Uh, I use 7.6 on uh, Linux. Do you have any sort of accelerator features enabled change block tracking? Or? Uh, no, I haven't uh, enabled any feature from uh, NetBackup side. The only thing that I did is uh, I disabled dedupe on NetBackup side so that I can uh, use uh, make use of uh, higher store plugins dedupe uh, uh, capabilities. So now the getting the latest information and uh, you see the, the spike um, in serial number 23 over 2300 23,000 uh, 20, take off sorry. a restore of what you just backed up so we can see a rehydration rate of uh, the restore mm -hmm. <laughs> I see that wasn't part of the demo <laughs> <laughs> it never is <laughs> Yeah, Steve, Steve, I think was either Steve or someone else, or uh, Tom was telling me that uh, there was one time where they did the tech field day, where for one reason or another every single demo had issues. So they were recommending. <laughs> so so far we're doing very well with our planned demo, but now they're trying to throw a monkey wrench in there. Oh, are you doing something? Yeah, I would oh. just uh, initiate it. Maybe you can continue. Oh, okay, uh, okay, yeah. Me, so. Sanjay will initiate. It. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. I was trying to use, but the console oh. just saw Mike moving. Can you do it on the screen, just for the video? That's yeah. all. Uh, I've seen discrepancies between ingest rates and rehydration. The ingest rates is going to be much as faster. Hundred to one. Right. Yeah, but, uh, and and the ingest will be much faster because the ingest is all coming in just metadata, and you you're not bound by spindles at all. For rehydration, you're actually pulling all the data back. So at that point, we hopefully should get uh, somewhere on the order of that 1.1 terabytes an hour, uh, so times two, so probably hopefully around two terabytes an hour. Hopefully, we'll see.
Wouldn't that be above the actual bandwidth you have coming out of your systems? Why? We have six one gig connections each, gotcha. so it's 12. Well, that's from the cluster and then up. Uh, I'm not sure. I, right. I have to see what the lab thing looks like. But yeah, it's interesting. Without DDoP transfer, our top performance, we have to use 10 gig connections. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's not doable with one gig. Yeah. With the one gig. Uh, but uh, with DDoP transfer, at that point, we're not bound by those uh, connectivity. Uh, for backup, we just initiated uh, 110 streams. Uh, but this one is just single stream restore, so you're not going to see high performance. <laughs> but uh, obviously, we can do the uh, restore. Uh, we, we can't, we're not really ready for the performance you know, demo for restore. No, but I should at least see the line rate of one single interface coming out of it, right? Okay. But that, that would be, again, just a single stream, though. Yeah, and plus... So he's then, saying otherwise he would set up multiple right. streams reading. And uh, also, like, again, maybe the disks on the media server side could be the bottleneck, right? Because you have to write on the disk. Maybe... So for the backup, we, we let the data from memory. Uh, we're not, that file system actually is not writable. Uh, or maybe we can... I, I, uh, I will need a couple of minutes. Uh, maybe we can continue... Yeah, please, right. go ahead. Sir. Yep. Uh, Continue, number. Well, the <laughs> well, basically, the demo is done. You see in this performance, uh, maybe just uh, make it bigger. Too much. I mean, we wanted to keep it small enough. I mean, we don't have time to do a longer one, but otherwise it would be a longer sustain. So that was the total performance. And also I, we can show the performance for HN. Oh, maybe I, I made it too big. <laughs> One less. And yeah. So each, each uh, HN has uh, almost equivalent performance, right? Yeah, the 40 terabytes an hour that we talked about, that's about 11,100 uh, megabytes per second. So you can see both of them are above that. Uh, and then you can see them over here visually and then the total linear performance. Right. And uh, so each, well, th this one actually five minutes. We, we wrote uh, over eight terabyte. So all the backup will finish like right in uh, 10 minutes. Uh, Perfect. So yeah, do, you, do you want to quickly show them the VM uh, backup? Uh, or no? Well, is, it, is it really any different yeah, than I mean, the file base? Yeah, I mean, maybe we should. Yeah, yeah, just I think uh, maybe. That is net backup, really. Yeah, so. uh, the only interesting part. Uh, uh, Part of the demo is that all the infrastructure is from NEC. So we are uh, using family channel uh, storage uh, from uh, NCDs. Mm -hmm. And uh, for, uh, for target uh, storage, we are using Hyder Store. And uh, for, uh, for uh, backing up data, we are using uh, CX and GX, which we use for this. Uh, so in essence, this is what for, we call for it that one. backup, are you doing anything like a stand proxy type through <laughs> net backup, which shows any sort of acceleration? Uh, Hold it close. As I said, no. It's a. It's a. Uh, it's the main purpose of the demo was to basically highlight the different uh, infrastructure parts that NEC offers. So it's a pretty straightforward, simple VM backup. So I mean, we're calling it a one NEC solution. We're using the enterprise servers. We're using the M series that we talked about earlier, <coughs> and we're using the Hydra Store. Um, all NEC technologies.